Revenge? And why, after 300 years, has the Beast of Blackmoor returned to prowl the moors again? The answers to these and many other dark secrets will be uncovered in my next case, The Curse of Blackmoor Manor. All right. Can I have the microphone back so you can talk to Not Maui, M A U I. Maui, M A W I. All right. Yeah. Um. I I don't think there's like a bad game in the whole series actually Maui. So yeah, it wouldn't be a bad one to get into. I really enjoy these games. I mean, there's this one's one of my least favorite ones because. Some of the puzzles are just really, really frustrating, but because of mechanics, not because of the badly designed puzzles. But um, yeah, it's it's a really good series. All right, we're gonna exit so we can start the new. That's one. fine. All right, let's start the next one. All right, let's, I'm gonna change the stream title. Uh, title. Do I need to change how my computer is? I don't think so. Okay. Shouldn't have to. Do. Curse of Blackmore Manor, that was. Mm hmm. Uh, you don't have to play them in order, Maui. Um, I think we started with the third game. Yeah. And uh, then we played the second game. And then the first, I think. So, yeah, it doesn't Welcome matter. They're not really connected. Case, the Curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose Junior. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Mish. Good luck. Oh, God. <laughs> These accents, though. Child. Over there. I mean, something was out there. Uh, come in. I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you are Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night. Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is, uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Mom. 
Mom jeans. Wonder what goes there. Something fits in here, but what? Yes, totally. <laughs> hmm, a tripod. For a camera, maybe? This room is garish, by the way. Yeah, it is. We should totally order food. <laughs> we'll call Hugh first, actually, probably. I'm sorry, I cannot take your call oh. right now. I will leave me a message at the embassy. Fine, call we'll me call back a later. Cook. Thank you. Screw you, we'll call a cook. Ball's Head Pub, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Right, right, Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? <laughs> Coo, you must be ain't up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. <laughs> Hello? Um, <laughs> could you repeat that? Sure, we've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Oh, well, we should have had the turkey since... Yes. I'd like some pinky and perky, please. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny no. Rubber? No. Yeah, because you don't no, know you need it I'll yet. No, I'll be eating alone, thank you. All right then, we'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. That's exciting. Yeah, I won't let you take the butter until later because you don't know you need it. I know, it's it's hideous. That has to do with the stars. Uh -huh. John Pendleton. Full of crocodiles. Beautiful princess. Aww. They were just... Aww. Aww, this is so sad. A lily pad suddenly appeared. Then another one. Oh. A bright red key. What? Huh? I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. 
I need the key. Come back later, please. Bling. Whoop. Wah. Blooding. is A. B is bling. C is blooding. D is wah. B is bang. Phew! Excuse me. F is steam, which we didn't have. And G is tick tock, which we didn't have. Okay. So the correct answer is B, A, D, C, A, D, E, E. I don't know who puts weird things in their steps just for that, but hey. Hmm. I need something else for this. Is it this key? Probably. The key fits, but it won't turn. I need to put some kind of grease in there first. Now I know we need the butter. <laughs> oh, oh well. forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition? What's my mother told you? What her son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me. There's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. Please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. Linda? Hmm. Okay, I'll let you rest. But I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Hi, Linda. Linda? <laughs> didn't mean to I'll be that. going now. <laughs> Okay, she has lotion she's using for her dry skin. <laughs> okay. She doesn't want to look at herself. Talk to the girl now. Hi! You must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get.